Barhead Travel Bill Monroe says he feels vindicated after a tribunal found he was unfairly dismissed, but did not award compensation. Mr. Monroe left the business in November, 2018, just nine months after selling up to U.S. travel giants Travel Leaders Group the previous February, reports our sister newspaper The Herald. And the 75-year-old, who initially stayed on as chairman after the buyout, pursued an employment tribunal against his former firm amid claims his dismissal process was a sham. His position as chairman was made redundant a month after he was offered a 25-hours-a-month contract to carry out special projects with no continuity of service. Employment Judge Lucy Wiseman said that an offer of alternative employment to Mr. Monroe on unreasonable terms and a flawed appeal process rendered the dismissal of the claimant unfair. Mr. Monroe took his case to the tribunal hoping to be reinstated as Barhead chairman, insisting during the tribunal that he was not here for the money. But it was ruled not practicable after Ms. Wiseman took into account a breakdown in the relationship between Mr. Monroe and the TLG management team. While he was not awarded compensation, he will be paid £2,754 in respect of the balance of the payment of notice on top of a redundancy package of £15,240 which has already been transferred. Mr. Monroe, who started Barhead Travel in 1975, with just one shop and four members of staff, said that there may be further legal action in the future this has been a harrowing, emotional and stressful time, he said. I have had to endure the ordeal of having my life's achievements being introduced in public. The former executive, who grew Barhead Travel to become one of the UK's largest independent travel agencies, with more than 70 stores employing 1,000 workers added, In my career I have been awarded three Lifetime Achievement Awards, two in the UK travel industry and a third from the Glasgow Chamber of Commerce. These mean the world to me. And my reputation was brought into question. I am delighted the tribunal has vindicated me. A findings of fact statement from the tribunal said that TLG understood that he had started to step away from the day-to-day -day running of the business after the sale while he remained in an ambassadorial role of chairman and founder. The statement said Mr. Monroe was not initially expected to work full-time or for a set number of hours but would be paid £67 per hour for anything he did outside his special projects role for TLG in the UK. It was anticipated he would receive no more than £25,000 per year in the role which was to look at opportunities for growth but TLG did not want him directly involved in Barhead travel work. But the tribunal heard that TLG chief executive Nanan Chako had become alarmed that Mr Monroe was averaging seven for more on this story, visit the news article link.